This is nice. Yes, peeps, what up, what up? It's Tina Evans Media. And guess where I am? What if I tell you? <laughs> this week, I am up in a place called Malvern in St. Elizabeth. And a beautiful, beautiful place. Hideaway, getaway. Windmill cottages. Now listen, people, the place is awesome. And right now, Grace is here with me to tell me all about windmill cottages. Grace, welcome. Welcome, welcome to Malvern. <laughs> Nobody yes. knows about Malvern, so thank you for finding your way. <laughs> I have heard about it. I even have friends who grew up in Malvern, uh -huh. but it's you my thought first it was time. just. Uh, I thought it was just bush. <laughs> yeah, but then there are so many colleges. I don't yeah, know man. how the name isn't out there a, li a little bit more. Yeah, I mean people. Bethlehem Teachers College. That's right. Up the road, literally. Mon the Great Monroe the College. Great Monroe. Have to big up, give them them due. The Great Monroe Bruce College Holding. down the road. That's right. And right somewhere or in Sangsters. between. Right. I've been Sangsters. Bruce was JC. Okay. And right almost in between is Hampton High. Hampton. So just this trip alone is just a wealth of knowledge. Yeah, man. So, Grace, tell us a little about Windmill Cottages, how it got started, okay. and even the name. Okay, so, you know, my roots, my family roots is from St. Elizabeth. So, okay. my sisters and I, we bought this property. There's a front house, which we, you, you won't see. But um, then there is this land around us. There are, right. you know, a couple acres well. Mm -hmm. So, we looked around and we said, but there's no place in Malvern where there are cottages where you can come for instance we plan to go into camping later wow. down the line yes yeah. so we built these um pretty much wooden cottages and right. um it was mostly a lot of bush as you you know people refer to Malvern as we yes. cleared the bush and we built these cottages and community is absolutely excited about it and have been very supportive right. so this is where we are my property manager loban is in the background nodding that <laughs> he lives in malvern grew up in malvern he's right. saying that there is no place like this even in treasure beach okay so this is a real deal real deal, <laughs> real deal. and i mean so in terms of the name now, Windmill Cottages, give, give, give our viewers, you know, the background. Well, I must tell you that um, it is said that where we are in Malvern is perhaps the world's best air quality. Okay. And windmills are situated here, yes. Windmills are situated here and it, it, it's... Um, it's so... The name, of course, is just came naturally Windmill Cottages because, right. as I said... A lot of windmills are here because it is so breezy when you this is summer and we, we you slept you slept no you yeah. you said you didn't but i for i for one slept with a blanket last night wrap up yeah and, man well, it, i didn't use a blanket because i actually had the long sweat bottom on you know and, mm -hmm. and, and, a, and a marina but i was under the sheet and the people my prefer cold and hot <laughs> and up here is cool yeah, it's really beautiful climate is nice it is beautiful and so Malvern um, got its name from the British people who used to live here they used to when, when they're in Jamaica this is where they used to live for the most part because up here okay. is so cool and then there's this place in, in, in England called Malvern okay. and it was used as a health spa History, no people. Yeah, man. Listen so, to the history. So, um, Malvern, they named it Malvern because they used up here as a health spa. Right. Because of the absolute pure air quality. Best in the world. Can't get yes. better than this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have one brag yet about the, the view <laughs> in, in Malvern. You know, I just wow. wait for you to ask me about the awesome sea we'll, view. <laughs> we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Yeah. So, so for, for, I mean, for our viewers, you know, just, just tell us. Tell them, you know, how many cottages are here on location and, yeah, and you, where they can find you. So Website, now, um, social. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, Windmill Cottages, and 
Airbnb, you know, you can look us up. And um, so the, right about now, there are three cottages. And okay. um, one of them is like a family size. You can carry maybe a family of four because okay. there's a loft. Right, And right. so you can go up there with your older kids and, right. and sleep. And then we also have the big house with another three rooms so um which we're renovating right now so okay. if in you know you want to carry your family for a weekend retreat a week's retreat it is all here work we retreat can a- family get away yeah we can accommodate it you definitely it works mm-hmm. definitely and if persons actually come here to windmill cottages tell us about some of the surrounding attractions what, what can persons find to do okay so in our immediate era believe it or not we, we do hang gliding because we're 2,000 feet above sea level. Yeah, man. So maybe this is a second place in Jamaica where they, where they do hang gliding from okay. right off the hill. I'll go and look, take pictures, video, but I'm afraid of high people. I know. <laughs> we'll send Junior. Junior will go Junior to the hang gliding. Junior looks more like it. And I'll video. It looks like him can really <laughs> hang off. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so now I'm telling you also about this awesome view which right. i have heard it so many times that it's better than the sunset in the grill Pe- what? what people don't know yeah it's the most amazing view um from where is it from perhaps Nigril you're looking at not Nigril. sorry is it westmoreland to perhaps black river hmm. awesome and when the sun sets man you just want to go to preachers which is which is where we go that's where you, you, we hang okay. out yeah man mm-hmm. we fry fritters grab a bottle of wine what? some red striped beer and what? we just hang on the ledge and we'll watch the sun go down it is amazing wow better any day than what you get in the grill wow. it is in malvern believe it or not and of course outside of malvern we're just 20 minutes away from treasure beach Right, right. Well, you know, mm-hmm. you have a lot of activities too. And um, Wise Falls, Appleton Estate. That, you know, that um, is it. And you get a pond where you get awesome fish. A whole lot of attraction. And we fry fish here too. You know, for foreigners, Jamaicans who are staying here yes. and they want to take back Escovige fish. We do that kind of there thing. You know. And, and, and um, we do sweet potato puddings as well. We do lemongrass sweet potato puddings. And as you mentioned, the lemongrass because... I'm seeing a whole lot of it, you know. Yes. So yeah. tell us about some of the other, you know, byproducts. So now, um, lemongrass grows wild like wow in, in Malvern. It is said that the slaves who were here, this is actually an old slave plantation. It is said that slaves who were here, that is what they uh-huh. used as their, their medicine for brushing their teeth, making teas, you yeah. know, um, Lemon lemongrass grass. bath. It's, it's said to cure cold. Really? And yeah, man, all kind of things. I, I, know, I know that there, there are a lot of useful benefits yes, of the Yes, yes, yes. And so it is that we, like I say, grows a lot in Malvern mm-hmm. and we, we are planting a whole lot here on the property. Okay. Because one of the things that we're doing is making natural products from lemongrass. Okay. So we're doing lots of body products, products from lemongrass, mm-hmm. but mostly. And of course, you know, um, we're doing the castor oil and the honey because people who come here to stay, they ask for those things right, to take right. back with them. So, you know, that's our, yes. uh, that's our project number two, working on our wow. natural product. Well, a whole lot going on yes. at Windmill Cottages. Who would people. believe it? Uh, I, I wouldn't believe it, you know. <laughs> so, see, they say seeing is believing. And yes. yes, I have seen and I am now a believer. <laughs> yes, yes. But, um... Give, give, give me an idea, of, though, of like the, the rates that you have, though. Um. So for now, it's an introductory, introductory cost because we do plan, we're planning on upgrading. Right, right. So we're introducing our cottages at 15000 per night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is pretty reasonable. And, right, so, and that covers the, 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 the cottage. The cottages, yes. And, so and meals are separate. Right, so mm-hmm. I noticed that you have one bedroom, well... But I guess it's how you set up. One can be a one bed or two bed. Yeah, you bed. can. You can request like um, one of the cottages on property. It's um, for two. It, it looks like a honeymoon suite. I'm, I've okay. been told that so okay. many times. So um, that is for two. Then we have a bigger cottage now. The one with the loft. You can right. you can take a family of four. 
perhaps right. and they all have kitchens so if you right. want to come you do a little cooking mm-hmm. you know it's not it's not it's not set up for big cooking but right, just right. just if you want to you know fry your egg make a simple little meal right yeah because some the kitchens pancakes. are small yeah, absolutely yeah, absolutely so you can you yeah. can do that as well as you know you can come on and request us to make you a meal right and mm-hmm. and so so the meal part of it now is that's not a separate cost but persons can come and request yes yes well, and how, would, we'll, would they, would they have to do that beforehand in terms of yeah let us know before have because we have request. to get a chef we have to right, hire a chef right right to come on property mm-hmm, uh-huh mm-hmm. When we came here and we were clearing land, lo and behold, we found out what is said to be, or we were told that it's, 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 it's a former slave. No, we don't say slave anymore. We say enslaved. It was a little home of an enslaved. So we treasure it dearly. Oh. Yeah, yeah. History. And Oh, yes. And, and um, some of our visitors abroad who have pointed this out to, you know, feel so connected. Right, some, right. Especially Jamaicans abroad who... Mm-hmm. Yeah, they feel so connected to back there where the swing is with the little, what is the remains of the little, um, the outline of the little plantation home. Right, and so, I saw the swing. I don't go on the swing yet, but <laughs> we have to take a swing. And then we have an outdoor shower as well for those who... Like those natural, at yes, one with nature. <laughs> yes, and then by the time you come back, would have had a spa in place. Okay. Yes, okay. so you can get your nice. massages done. Nice, uh-huh. nice. Outside shower, so I don't know the settings. <laughs> yeah, man, this is this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. So Grace, I mean. Just looking inside the cottages, you know, I mean, you must have been inspired to set up these cottages. I, lo- I love the setup. Yeah, maybe it's my age um, <laughs> and, and growing up in Jamaica mm-hmm. back then where a lot of us are from simple homes, right, wooden right. homes, you know, wooden floor. And, and so the cottage in the middle. Right. And it's that's the first one that the you first said one that we built right? is really a throwback to that time mm-hmm. when we were growing up in Jamaica and we hadn't gone concrete. Not right? yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and and if you look in, if you look inside, it's it's um it's also in honor of Bob Marley. Right. A lot of the the um photographs in there are Bob Marley, and it's interesting, you know, that um that vibe went out because as we speak right now, one of Bob Marley's um, former band, former band, band, band member is staying right. with us at Windmill Cottage. A former whaler. A former whaler. He's right here just now staying. So Pete, you see, surprise, surprise. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that vibe seriously went out. Right. He heard about the cottages. He came down. And so it's an honor for us to have him right, in our right. presence today. So this cottage that Tyrone is staying in that right now, mm-hmm. it's 
my sister, one of my sisters abroad really designed this one. Okay. And I okay. can tell you that it's a labor of love because the, this, the, the, the beam in the roof. Yes. To have brought this from where it was cut. It's, it's, it's like a, um, it's like a light pole. Okay. It, a whole heap of, um, weight. So and, you get it here. And, and they had to use something to rig it up. A whole heap of men were in the yard rigging it wow. up because you couldn't do it by hand. Right, right. And so we got local people to um to build all of these cottages were built by local labor. That's good. Yes. That's good. And um it, it has turned out to be a really beautiful cottage. And the, some of the furniture in there is Amish. Okay. Yeah. So yes. um we I took noticed them down. the bed and yeah, stuff. we took like, them down really from nice. overseas. Yeah, so it adds a nice natural touch right, because that's right. how we wanted it to look really natural. Lots of wood, and um, it it worked out pretty nicely. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. And the other little cottage now. Um, what is nice about it is that it has a ledge, and you can look out to the hills of Manchester. That. You can see the windmills in Manchester. So we're surrounded wow. by windmills. If you don't have it here, you can look at the ones in Manchester. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And then we have two ponds, two fish ponds. So right. um, that's kind of cool too. So a whole lot of attractions. And we try to we're trying to put in a lot of herbal stuff. You know. Mm -hmm. The, the, the pimento, the thyme, the, the, all the natural teas. Yeah, what is country without all these things? I'm I telling mean, you. I'm telling you. Where else would you want to get it? Yeah. I'm a town man, you know, so when you <laughs> come country, me expect all these All things. of these wonderful yeah, things man. that, yeah, man, that you see in boxes, the teas, you see in boxes, right. but you see them growing here. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, you know, Malvern, God bless Malvern, absolute beautiful place. We grow a lot of Pimento used to come from this area. Um, right. And in Malvern, you get a lot of the sweet potato that you eat at home. A lot of it comes from, from Malvern. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, we used to grow coffee. We don't do that um, so much anymore. Mm. But Because um, you have the climate for it, you know. <laughs> that is the thing. That is the thing. You know, the, the coffee grows in right. the Blue Mountains. Mm. So I'm trying to get Laban, our, our, our manager here, to put in some Start, coffee trees. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Laban. <laughs> anyway, start up. Yes, man. <laughs> Coffee. Put it in. Add it, add it to the mix. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. So, I mean, tell me, tell me like some of the reactions, you know, persons who come here and stay. I mean, it's been what? About three years since? You have it's been about three years that we started. We just completed this year, earlier on this year. When about March we opened. Okay, right. So you started... Building, building and then and we stuff. had to kind three of years, stop years. totally mm -hmm. during covid right 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 so we just opened and um i'm going to be absolutely honest i have never seen anyone walk into this compound and has not been somehow astounded they're like wow it's a really nice setup Really nice. Wow, it is so nice here. And I have to give God thanks for the breeze too because Oh yes. I guess that <laughs> really, really adds to the comfort. Yes. And I mean when you think about cab cabins, you think about like a blue mountain, you, you go up in the cabins yes, there. Yes. It's really you need that kind of atmosphere. The cool. Yes. Yeah, man. And 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 I can I also say thank you to the people of Malvern because Aside from a little incident that happened some time ago, mm -hmm. would you believe if I told you that people sleep with their doors open in Malvern? <laughs> would you believe? Well, I tell you, you know, I always hear that about country people as in rural Jamaica, but... That is something I cannot get used to. Yes. <laughs> but so it's, we, it's really good though. That's, that's let me good. tell you, we cannot always listen to what is said about Jamaica, full of crime. It's not, it's not yeah. entirely true. That's you come true. to Malvern and I don't know if the police have any work out there. <laughs> they don't have... In fact, I had spoken to one of them who was in charge mm -hmm. and they also commended the people for little or no crime at all. Hardly anything happens in Malvern. Yeah. You see how quiet and sleepy it is. It is. So, so Malvern, big up the people from Malvern. 
And I want to keep it up because a them kind of Jamaica you want. You just come and you hold a vibe, a yes. hold a meds yes. and enjoy life. No, put on the gun and violence, man. Absolutely. And can I yeah. also tell you that another interesting thing that I've found out since we have opened is that mm. people go to places to sleep. <laughs> I mean, apart from people who have come here and had a little party. Right. There are people who come here to lock the door and just... That's right. They're out. <laughs> And, and it's the atmosphere for it, you know. Absolutely. Cool and nice. You Absolutely. sleep from now till next they check week. In and you don't see them again until it's time to check out. Boy. They just come and sleep. Boy, that, yeah. that, that's serious, though. Yeah. That's yeah. serious. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what Malvern does to people. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I mean, I even, you know, went back in on the road and you know, we can't come country and not take in a little authentic country dance big sound big box string up and thing you know so i mean there's a lot to do when you come to windmill cottages people a lot yes i want to thank you for thank you for finding us, us. <laughs> I hear it wasn't so easy because you came very late at it, night. It was an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> but um, people, and stay tuned for the vlogs. You know, we, we did a little vlog to show the journey coming to um, Malvern in St. Elizabeth to Windmill Cottages. It was a real adventure. And, you know, we, what's a little adventure? You know, what's life without a little adventure? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so thank you very, very much for coming, man. Yes. It's, it's an honor it's an honor yeah, to have man. you here thanks yeah no your show is up so i'm even surprised <laughs> that you found the time to find a little place like uh, us and, and put on your program and listen, no and people are going to be honest too <laughs> like me and grace been in dialogue for some time now and it's like probably over a month we're trying to find a, a free weekend and book a date yeah because you're so busy you is not me it's you i had to wait on you and yes all right yeah i'll take that I'll accept <laughs> it, but yes yes because yeah. and i mean you know yeah and juggling not just a nine to five but you know the channel the youtube channel and stuff mm -hmm. is like a lot of juggling but we have to do it Mm -hmm. to us and do our Congrats to you too, man, because you're doing awesome yourself. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, Grace. Yeah, man. Thank you tired. once again. Come back, you know. You must come back. No, listen, man. You see, the next time we forward people, a campsite we're talking about, you know. Ah, too. Because I, I have experienced the cabin. So, next time we forward, a tent run at the campsite. <laughs> there you go. That is it. There so, you go. Stay tuned. More to Listen come. out. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, so peeps, there you have it. Boy, I tell you, it was interesting talking with Grace. And listen, you have to, have to, have to visit Windmill Cottages, Malvern, St. Elizabeth, because all the things are going on here. So a lot of attractions and the vibe is nice. You just come and you hold a meds. Whether your family, whether it's your, your team at work, listen, great vibe. So, follow them on social media. I, IG, remind, remind me again, Grace. Windmill Cottages, Windmill Jamaica. Windmill Cottages, mm -hmm. Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So, follow them. And, of course, when you can, you plan a trip and forward and experience it for yourself. We out. <laughs>